hey y'all welcome back to my channel thank you all for stopping by today i'm going to show you how to make this delicious oven roasted fish with boiled and fried provisions so let's start by making a simple mango salsa Today I'll be using some tomatoes. I have freshly chopped mangoes. I'll be using some agave, but feel free to use honey or sugar if you like. I have some parsley, bell peppers, onions. I'll be using some lime juice, salt, and black pepper. So basically you just wanna add all of the ingredients to a mixing bowl, mix well, cover, and place this in your fridge to chill until we prepare the rest of the meal. So I had a taste for some boiled and fried provisions and that's what I'll be pairing with my fish. Here I have some plantains, erro root, cassava and some sweet potatoes. I also will be using some bell peppers, onions, some garlic, scallions, parsley and for the seasoning I have bouillon black pepper complete seasoning and all purpose seasoning. First things first you want to boil the ground provisions. There I added some salt and a pinch of black pepper. Mix the combine and allow that to boil until tender. To a preheated skillet, I did add some oil. Now I'll go in with my aromatics. You want to add your onions, bell peppers, and the garlic. We'll also add the seasoning to add flavor and taste. And we will allow this to go for about two to three minutes. After about three minutes, add the butter. Allow that butter to melt. Then we'll add our boiled provisions. You want to give it a good toss. Make sure it's nicely coated with that yummy vegetables and the butter. And then the last thing we'll add is our fresh green onions and parsley. And that's it. That's how simple it is to make this. And it's the perfect side dish. It goes with a number of different things. If you're Caribbean or West Indian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now let's prepare the fish. So here I have a three pound red snapper and I did went ahead and wash this up in some vinegar and lemon juice and I pat the fish dry. So here I'll be using some sazon, chicken bouillon, a little bit of cumin. I have fish seasoning, obey and black pepper. I will be using some chipotle sauce for this and some fresh green seasoning. Trust me guys, this fish is going to be amazing. So now you want to combine all of the ingredients, mix well, and this will be used as our marinade for the fish. I only use half of the jar with the chipotle sauce, and I will leave all the correct measurements down in my description box. Now you want to coat the fish generously with that marinade, make sure it's nicely seasoned, and then we'll allow it to sit for about 30 minutes before we get started you want to allow it to marinate a little do not rush the process once that marinade soaks in the fish will be absolutely delicious After about 30 minutes marinating, you want to place this into your oven. Uncovered, you don't want to cover it. We will roast the fish, so place it in a 450 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Cooking time may vary depending on the size of your fish. If you have a smaller fish, it may take less time. But after 40 minutes, this is how the fish is looking. What I did was went ahead and baste it with some melted butter because it looked a bit dry and yeah i get ready to serve it was so simple and easy to put together but absolutely delicious and like i said this was a three pound fish and it serves about three to four people depending on portion size 
I did pair it up with my ground provisions, like I said, and I topped it with some of that fresh mango salsa. And let me tell you, everything paired really well. It was so great. You get that little tang from the mango salsa and the ground provisions were just melting in your mouth and it was perfect. I couldn't go without showing you the inside of the fish. It was so flaky moist and packed with flavor i can't wait for you all to try this recipe if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it and leave a comment down below i will leave all the ingredients down in the description box and i'll see you all next time thank you for watching and enjoy